So hello guys and as always welcome back to Learning MG. Today I'm bringing you once again my MacBook Pro with the touch bar. If you want to check out how this touch bar works, you click our channel. But right now we're going to explain to you what happens if you spill a coffee or a water or any type of liquid through your keyboard of your Mac. Well, first of all, I've done it and I've had that issue and I'm going to explain to you real quick what happened. So first of all, my touch bar carried on working and the actual keyboards worked perfectly fine. I wouldn't suggest three things you shouldn't do. You shouldn't just uh, move it at me and try to get the water off uh, just by moving it just like this note. So getting it up and moving it, I wouldn't recommend that. Neither would I recommend that you get like, a, let's say, some type of heat machine uh, and just uh, try to uh, induce heat. Uh, I wouldn't recommend that neither. In the end, uh, once you do that, you, there's some uh, type uh, of, uh, let's say there are chips that are very advanced uh, hardware that if you just apply heat on it, even though maybe the water hasn't gotten there, with the heat you will be uh, actually um, uh, getting, getting there. Because I've seen many videos uh, that they always say that use a hair dryer and, and so on. I wouldn't recommend that at all. I would recommend that you just try and see if it uh, by itself you can actually uh, just, uh, well, with let's say you've just uh, spilled some water, you try with a soft uh, t shirt that's of 100% uh, cotton, you just make sure you do like this and you try to actually <coughs> make sure that you haven't got any less less uh, let's say you had like got a big spills of water then you just try to take it off now in the meantime if you see that you've got a uh, plenty of issues so that like, it starts not functioning well your speakers you can't actually hear them then i would strongly recommend that you uh, actually take it to Apple. And you're gonna tell me, well, but that's gonna cost me a lot of money. Well, sometimes it will cost you even more money if you carry on by yourself and you just let it dry out and if it's coffee or whatnot. So first of all, I would recommend you get with some actual uh, cotton and you just do like this to remove any big excess of water and then just try and leave it to dry. Now, I wouldn't recommend it putting it in rice or nothing like that. I would just try and recommend it that maybe, yes, you can put it upside down but not carry on moving it just like put it upside down like open uh, just so that it can drip in case not like a vertical but just like literally upside down open flat so like just like this and upside down now i would recommend that you just try and make sure that so what i would do i would try and just put it like this so basically like this i will put it like this Okay, now uh, I wouldn't try to move it, I've told you. Now, one thing I would take into consideration is that these are uh, very sophisticated computers. Therefore, uh, they tend to actually work pretty fine. Mine, uh, I actually took it to Apple and they told me that, thank God, I didn't have any issues on the Mac. So that was something I was really happy about. But uh, just make sure that you treat it correctly and that if you ever have any issues, just do your best to take it to Apple and make sure that uh, what these are very actual expensive products therefore don't just uh, play with it and try to do you just put it in rice or whatsoever okay so as always if you like this video please hit the thumbs up subscribe to our youtube channel because it will really have the youtube algorithm and if you've got any questions about this video or any other video just leave it down here in the comments below and meet or anyone from the learning mg team as surely as possible and if you found this uh, video useful and you're not going to put your mac into rice then just uh, give us the super thanks we would gladly appreciate it so thank you very much for watching